Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video! I'm excited! Actual creative mode! Iron Gate finally added a real creative mode to Valheim. And the way it works, you don't need to use any dev commands or anything like that. It's actually its own world. You go down to this new fancy menu item here called World Modifiers. And don't worry about all this, there's actually a crazy amount of settings. I'm honestly really surprised how many different settings they added. But for you, the one who's trying to make creative mode, all you need to do is click hammer mode, okay? This is gonna make it so you can build anything, but, 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 there is a catch. Here we are on one of my main characters, and if we open up our menu, that we can't just build anything, we still need to build the relevant workbench. And find a good spot, there we go, perfect. So now that we've built this, ooh, look at all that color. But we won't be able to build something like stone, right? Because to make the stone, you still need the stone cutter. So you can't just blindly make anything in this mode. And another thing that's interesting is, I only have all these things available because I'm playing on a character that's already unlocked them. So here we are on a new character, but you'll see our build menu is absolutely tiny. But I'm on the creative server, so what's up with that? Well, this is because you still have to pick up the items for the first time. However, it looks like the items don't even drop anything. You see, did you notice that? How when I destroyed the workbench, it didn't drop any wood. So in this creative mode, or hammer mode as they call it, you don't need resources to make items, and you don't get resources from destroying items. But how come I can't build anything? That's because you have to pick the item up for the first time. So what happens when I pick up stone for the first time? Well, suddenly I can build stone piles, because they're built with stone. So, let's see what happens if I pick up a piece of wood for the first time. Just run around, I'm sure we'll find a stick eventually. There we go. Boom! Oh, and then look at that. Suddenly, we get all of these build options. So the way hammer mode works is you play specifically to progress and get the item for the first time. And then once you have it for the first time, you can just keep making stuff. For example, here we go, I've made a workbench, and now that I made the workbench, it adds all of this stuff, right? And we can see that I have no wood in my inventory, but I can just keep going, right? Make this cool little rectangle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And look, I still have one wood in my inventory. So the way this creative mode works, you can build anything you want, provided you found at least one of the item that you need to make it. It totally changes the game. You can play on this, no dev commands, nothing, and you have this cool creative mode where you get to build as much as you want, but it's not as hacky as using dev commands because the unfortunate thing about using dev commands is it sort of ruins the rest of the game. So like, yeah, if you wanna create something for a YouTube video or to post somewhere, then it's great for that. But if you wanna play a game, and spend most of your time just building stuff and creating, well, this is actually better, because now there is an incentive to explore, to find the item for the first time. I can't just run with this character and go get stuff from the Mistlands, you know? I have to do some preparation for that. But it's way easier than actually progressing through all the biomes, because now I can build anything once I find the item for the first time. consider getting a dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way to play Valheim with your friends, mainly because people can actually join and build stuff while you're off living your life or sleeping or whatever it is that you do. And for me, that makes it just a more enjoyable experience. It makes the world feel more alive when I log into it and stuff's in a different place. The world's more alive when other people are messing with it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!